this is the only way to drop ship in 2024 if you want to build a sustainable business a business that's profitable and also a business that you can sell sometime in the future welcome to the channel everyone my name is trevor zang i'm the co-founder of peak flow and inside of our community and our brand our objective is to help as many people build a profitable and semi-automated high ticket e-commerce business so if you're um, excited and ready or just new to the channel we're super happy to have you on the channel and watching some of our content so let's jump into exactly how and why the the best way or the only way to drop ship in 2024 profitably so number one is going to be you cannot sell aliexpress products the reason why i say this is most people most people that go onto youtube that search the term like drop shipping or you know, TikTok dropshipping, Facebook dropshipping, they're gonna be taught to use AliExpress. And the reason why AliExpress is not something that you wanna use is because AliExpress is not a supplier. It is simply a marketplace. If I can buy from AliExpress as a customer, it means that they are not a supplier because suppliers should only sell to retailers with certain exceptions. So when you go on AliExpress, you know, when you are looking at this drone, for example, it might say $9, right? But AliExpress is the marketplace. So the supplier or whatever agent that you're working with, they're making a mark, they're making profit on, by marking up the price from the warehouse. So you're essentially buying a middleman and you're, you're the middleman between the supplier and the customer. So essentially the, the consumer the customer is buying from two middlemen and you don't want to do that you want to keep the process as simple as possible by finding and using USA or local based suppliers so if you're based in the US use USA suppliers if you're in the UK use UK suppliers and wherever you're gonna sell use those local suppliers because you can have fast shipping you can have higher quality products and you're gonna have reliable communication yes Aliexpress sometimes can get items cheaper but cheaper does not always necessarily mean it's going to be better for your business. Yes, higher profit margins or, you know, just apparently more margins on paper is better. But if you're getting more returns, more chargebacks, more unhappy customers, then it's actually not worth it because you, know, you may as well just work over a little bit more money for a little bit higher quality product. And, you know, the customers are just going to have way less returns and you know, chargebacks and potential issues. So obviously don't use AliExpress. It's been dead for so many years, but there has been a wave of new quote unquote suppliers that most people are kind of saying. You might have heard of CJ Dropshipping, Zendrop, AutoDS. These are not suppliers either. This tool AutoDS has been getting very, very popular recently. And I've seen so many ads and you know a lot of influencers being sponsored by them. And the reason why you should not be using them this because AutoDS is just a software. It's a it's a software-based company first. They're not a supplier. They're essentially just connecting directly with the supplier, and then they make a fancy dashboard where you can buy the products from them. All AutoDS does not carry any inventory. They're literally connecting the supplier and you instead of you just going directly to the supplier. You know, AutoDS is just another middleman where you have to pay another subscription. You have to pay another surcharge by buying from the middleman. So do not use any of these tools. I know there's way more. Um, Cedar Drop, Springs End Drop, those are the big ones. They're aggregators. They're middlemen of a middleman. Next, for dropshipping profitably in 2024 and beyond is, first of all, you need to understand dropshipping actually works. So if you're watching this far, you definitely know dropshipping works. All the big box retailers like Amazon, Wayfair, Home Depot, Lowe's, they're all dropshipping. They're not carrying any inventory. Yes, some certain products that are light, like for example, headphones, they might carry inventory just because it's you know, good to, or it's just a lot faster to ship. But the thing with like selling more expensive items like a fridge or oven or you know, like a chair, so they're not gonna buy hundreds of units at, at a time without knowing that it will sell. So that's why with higher ticket product is essentially what you wanna aim for for a dropshipping 2024. You want to use dropshipping as a fulfillment method. Remember, it's just a fulfillment method at the end of the day and do not use TikTok or Facebook ads. So TikTok and Facebook ads work 
without a doubt, otherwise people would not be spending on them. But it's extremely, extremely hard to get them to work for absolute beginner. So even if you have business experience, it is really, really hard. Personally, if I were to start a traditional or low ticket dropshipping store, I probably, it, it would be pretty hard just because you have to keep testing creatives, improve on the creatives. Just not a fun process that you wanna be doing every single day. So creatives and editing, they're very hard to learn. It's not something you learn overnight. It doesn't mean that's a bad thing because it keeps the barrier entry high, but the fact that people had to test hundreds of products and then after testing products, even they quote unquote managed to find a winning product, then essentially, they might have a good few months and then their product dies after a few months simply because people are going to copy them um, you know the supplier after seeing a lot of sales a lot of times suppliers will literally backstab you and sell the products themselves or send you fake tracking numbers my business partner uh, was selling you know air conditioners back a few years ago and the supplier sent him fake tracking numbers causing a bunch of angry customers you know that is something you get by using Chinese suppliers, it's very awful. So you don't want to use that. And you don't want to use TikTok or Facebook ads. You want to use Google ads where it's very logical. Like if you have more than half a brain cell, like Google ads is just a lot superior. And Google ads ultimately changed my life, but I can save that story for another day. Google ads, you know, it, it has been game changing for me since 2021. Because you're using image plus text ads, um, all you need to do is supply the image for the shopping ad and then also the text for the title obviously so that's all you really need to do the image and text you just optimize those two and your shopping ads will be profitable so show up when people are looking to buy see when I type in sauna for sale these results are showing up but nobody's typing in sauna for sale on TikTok or Facebook and even if they are they're looking most likely to buy a used one so whenever people go onto Google, they're looking to buy new sauna for sale because if they want to use one, they're going to look locally. So sauna for sale, or they, they might type in sauna for sale used. So Google ads is very logical. When someone types in sauna for sale, you want to have your ads if you're selling saunas appear in front of them. But to make it more buying intent, someone might search up Max's sauna two person for sale. And if you don't know what Max is, it, that's completely fine. It's just a brand of sauna. So you can see Max's, Max's, Max's. So we essentially want to partner with these brands and sell these products on our website just because you don't have to second guess what type of sauna they want. So from Facebook ads to Google ads, the intent of Ready is super, super high. But then from Google ads and then partnering with these brands and then doing Google ads, the intent becomes even higher, making it so, you know, when we, show up for Max's on two person for sale and if someone's searching that up they're very very likely to buy from your ad just because you're ranking for exactly what they want it's like put the two pieces of puzzles together give them what they want make the offer appealing and you'll make sales it's it's, it's not rocket science so also the next thing is going to be do not just sell one product products you have copied you're relying on one single product is unsustainable um, you know with high tech e-commerce which is the business model that I've been doing since 2021 you have thousands of products you're not just selling one single sauna you might sell 10 different brands of saunas and each brand might have 10, 10 products or 100 products however many and this limits your risk just because you're not relying on one single product where people can copy you but even if people copy you, you will have the competitive edge just because you're working with a manufacturer that you know, favors people that bring sales for them. So if you're new to the supplier and the brand, you're gonna get better margins than someone else that's coming in. So high tech e-commerce, when, you know, when you're starting out, it's gonna be a rough ride just because of the fact that you know, if people are in the industry for many years, they're gonna have better margins than you. But that also makes it where, you know, if you were to stick to the industry long enough, you will have that competitive edge over new people that are coming into the industry. So with that being said, what is the solution to this? How do you actually drop profitably in 2024? And it is going to be with high ticket e-commerce, not the traditional way. High ticket e-commerce. So, you know, I'll just say the low ticket dropshipping versus high ticket dropshipping. 
e-commerce dropshipping we're doing dropshipping so you know the, the two things are just the same so low ticket dropshipping which is the old way is you make ten dollar profits on twenty dollar items it might seem good on papers you know that's fifty percent margins but here's the thing making sales for ten dollars or less on cold traffic and especially on TikTok or Facebook ads is very very hard but making sales profitably when you have five hundred dollar margins on a two thousand dollar item is paired up with Google ads it's not as hard so long shipping times versus fast shipping times low quality products you're getting them from your you know your Chinese agent versus luxury high end products these are all made in the USA or whatever local market that you're in you get angry customers over here every single day. If you run a low ticket dropshipping store, you're going to get angry customers. On the other hand, with high ticket dropshipping, we always get five star reviews. Okay, so you don't always get five star reviews, but the, the likelihood of getting five star reviews is so much often than the other side. I have automated reviews on for my store, and I get five to ten five star reviews, literally five star reviews every single month. Um, I haven't really gotten many one-star reviews. Like I got like one or two over the course of three years. I can't say the same when I was running a low-ticket dropshipping store. People were leaving, you no know, one-star reviews. It wasn't even really my fault. It's just the suppliers, products are just awful. So you don't want a business where you're just constantly getting one-star reviews. You rely on one product. You have inconsistent sales, and because of the inconsistent sales, you are unscalable. You can't scale it up because of the fact that you're not profitable a lot of times. So with high ticket dropshipping, you have 10,000 plus products a lot of times, sometimes less, sometimes more, but that limits your risk greatly and you have consistent and stable growth because of that. It's a very scalable business just because of the fact that, you know, you have consistent, you have high profit margins, which allows you to make sales profitably and roll that profit into more advertising to make more sales. So ultimately, you're like, why am I sharing this information with you if you're watching this the first time? And it's very simple. 99% of YouTube will not share this information with you. After seeing so many people try traditional dropshipping, which is the low ticket dropshipping way using AliExpress, CJ dropshipping, AutoDS, and all these softwares or suppliers to dropship without success and opening up the floodgates to people that are actually going to put in the work. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this business requires more setup than AliExpress dropshipping. And for most people, after hearing that, they're probably not going to even start because they're lazy. They're not going to make it, quite frankly. So this business requires more setup and upfront effort for more consistent returns long term than traditional dropshipping. This means most people won't even start. And to be fair, it's completely fine with that. I'm completely fine with that, honestly, because of the fact that most people aren't made for business. And you know, if you're one of those person, you know, if you're fine working a tr traditional job, then. By all means, I don't know why you're watching this, but if you have what it takes, then I encourage you to at least try, give it all your 100% effort to make high ticket e-commerce work, just like how it worked for me multiple times on multiple stores since 2021. So what will you do? So you have no reason to not at least take a look and get started in building your own high ticket e-commerce business. I have a link in the description of this video, join a free high ticket dropshipping course. It has everything you need to make your first few sales with high ticket dropshipping. Like we have a community, we have 2000 ish members inside of it. And like you have no excuses not to at least try and get started. And quite frankly, most people don't even get to that stage. And even if people do get started after they see like how much um, initial setup it might require for them because they're used to traditional dropshipping, just throwing up a Shopify store and running ads, then they might not consider and that's that's fair because we we really only want people that are actually serious about business and actually want to build a sustainable business that can last them for years and years just like how i've done so hope you guys took away value on this and the only way to drop to in 2024 i truly believe this is the case and in the next year or the next following years after this i still believe this is going to be the same so with that being said you want to join a free high-tech dropshipping course Link in the description. And as always, I hope you guys took away value from this. Until next time.